Tonight, we start with a story you only see on News Leader 9. It's taken a Columbus mother a year and a half to speak out about the tragic death of her then 23 month old daughter. The mother's ex boyfriend was accused of abusing the child. Our Arisha Jones is here now to tell us what the mother told her during an exclusive interview. Arisha? Well, Jason, Jaquavia Bassett contacted us to tell her side of the story. She says she was scared until now. She knows she cannot change the past and bring her daughter back, but she hopes her story can help other abuse victims before it's too late. I don't want nobody else to feel the way that I feel, the way that I feel now. Like, nobody should have to go through that. Losing a child, like, that was the only thing that I ever, like, truly loved and cared about was my child. Jaquavia Bassett lost her only child, Kaya Bassett, March 24th, 2014. Her boyfriend at the time, Damian Bell, was charged with the murder of the child while the mother was away working in Atlanta. Because nobody knew that I wasn't home. Everybody thought that I was home. Bassett tells us Bell was violent and abusive towards her. They only dated three months before her child died. Everybody thought that I was taking his side about my daughter fell in the bathtub. That's how she ended up in the hospital. That's the story he gave me. Her autopsy report clearly says that she was beaten. After her daughter's death, Bassa received hate mail and negative attention from news coverage of the case. She now feels brave enough to speak up. Nobody came to me and asked me, do I know what happened? She wrote an essay as a way to heal from the past. It's called a mother's loss, standing up to abuse and stopping the violence. She wants to help other victims of abuse get the help they need. That's all I really known, you know, was abuse. All Bassett has now is memories and pictures of her daughter. She says she can still feel her child's presence. Like I was really blessed with an angel and I'm always have an angel beside me. Kaya Bassett was baptized the day before she died at Eggleston Hospital in Atlanta. Damian B Bell pled not guilty to the murder at the time. Back to you, Barbara.